as a house officer, you get assigned to a registrar or other doctors. No, so you get assigned to a department. Um, so a department might be like cardiology, which is the heart um, or um, general surgery, which is the surgery of um, the, the, the uh, using layman's term, uh, like stomach, intestines, um, or you might be in uh, like renal medicine, which is like kidney specialist. So each of those is its own department in the hospital. And then you are assigned to work in that department. At the moment, currently in New Zealand, those rotations are three months for house officers and six months for registrars. And you would just rotate through. Um, as a registrar, you do get the preference of being either a medical or a surgical registrar. So if you're a surgical registrar, you're not going to suddenly go from doing something like cardiology, which is a medical specialty, um, using use, using medications um, to to solve problems to something like cardiothoracic surgery, which is using a scalpel to, to solve problems. You know, in short, so you're not you're not going to have that. You're either surgical or, or medical, and then you're applying for the training program. So you're assigned to the department. Likewise, the registrars are also assigned to that department. So the team is just <laughs> the team is like assembled from people that just happen to be <laughs> there, and they're all just in the same kind of group. Uh, and then you, yeah, you. They split the department up arbitrarily into sort of five groups or five teams, you know, black, white, yellow, green, yellow, whatever, whatever colors. And each of those will have a number of registrars, consultants, and a number of house surgeons. And so if you're on the blue team, you'd be on the blue team for three months. Um, if you're a house surgeon or if you're the blue team registrar, you'd be a blue team registrar for six months. If you're the blue team consultant, you're on blue team for life. Yeah. yeah. And, and, Generally, that amount of time uh, to be like, for example, three months um, is w enough time for a junior doctor to kind of get the grasp of the specialty and the ins and outs of it. You wouldn't know enough to sort of like confidently manage a, a patient of that case, but you would have a pretty decent acumen so that when you see a patient that has that type of issue, you'd be like, okay, I know how to think about this. I know the next steps to sort of take it. And most importantly, I know who to ask and when to ask for help is sort of what you'd learn in three months. And likewise for registrars, that six month period of time obviously just represents a higher level of knowledge and experience that they'd be gaining.